We've seen Fidelity come out with a price target, hold on to your hat, of a billion dollars. A billion. The fifth largest asset manager in the world is saying by the year 2050, Bitcoin could be worth a billion US dollars. Eventually, it takes how much, let's say it is digital gold. What, what percentage of, of gold's market cap does it finally? Uh... You know, Bitcoin's 0.1% of the capital in the world right now. I think it's going to go to 7% of the capital. 7%. My long-term point. forecast is oh, it's going to go to 13 million over 21 years. 13 million. 13 over million. But what, what is it five years from now? You're, in your four-year calculus. You know, it's been growing 44% a year so with about a 40 to 50 vol. I would think it'll, it'll move on at uh, 40%. Percent, then click down to 35, then 30, then 25, and at some point it'll be the S and P return plus eight percent, and it'll be the S and P vol plus eight percent because it's always going to be a more global, open, free capital market. What price targets do you have for Bitcoin? Everyone uh, loves this. Yes, we are in print. Uh, uh, our base case is 650,000, but that base case was set. Uh, before the SEC approved uh, the Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, and so uh, we are more convinced now that our bull case of 1.5 million by 2030 is the, the, the more likely case. Of, uh, of the Kathy Woods $500,000 million base case Bitcoin valuation issue. Because by the way, if, if that's true, then you, then you can retire. Yeah, I, I mean, look, it, it, again, it depends on the timeline, right? So if you're saying it's going to go from 50000 to 500000 which is 10x, and that's going to happen over the next 10 years. Yeah, I think she thinks that that's what's going to happen. Th that's not that crazy, right? I mean, again, NASDAQ was up 50% last year. I'm not saying NASDAQ's going to go up 50% every year, but we live in a world where it has completely lost all ties to reality because we are printing an enormous amount of money. The interest payment on the debt is a trillion dollars. Right. right. It was a video game number. And so in that world, how much are these assets worth when the denominator is just being debased away? They're going to be worth a lot more. You can just start putting zeros on the end of the values of these assets. Anthony Pompliano. Pomp, thank you, sir. Go on. I mean, can you play the clip in 2012 and 13 when it was at 200 and everybody was laughing at me on CNBC every time I would talk about Bitcoin? Um, where is it going? It's probably going to 100, then 150, then 200,000. In what period? I don't know five years, 10 years, but it's going there. And the Where do I think it's gonna go? Well, I think a million dollars by 2030 seems pretty realistic to me. We'll see. Again, in the world of possibilities and probabilities, I think it's highly probable we'll get there. It's certainly not guaranteed, which is why I don't put 100% of my money in. We'll come back to that in a minute. But I think in the next 18 months, a hundred to $150,000 Bitcoin is kind of what I'm thinking. That's a two to three X return from here. I don't know of any other asset I can put my money into right now today that can get me that type of return. Morgan Creek Capital Management CEO Mark Yusko is here now to explain. Mark, great to see you. It's been a while. You too, Melissa. Always great to be on the show. Thanks for having me. So you're forecasting Bitcoin to 150,000 in the next year or so. Can you explain how you yeah. get to that math? Yeah, so it, it is just math. So we, we look at the, the fair value today from the, the Metcalf's law model that gives us round numbers around 50,000. The halving occurs in three weeks. What a halving does, it cuts the block rewards, the amount of money that's given to the miners to secure the network. If those rewards were to get cut in half, as they do, many of the miners would struggle. So historically, what has happened the price rises, the fair value rises. So that would push it at 100. But this time it's a little different in that instead of just block rewards, we get uh, transaction fees because of ordinals and inscriptions. So let's say the fair value only goes to 75 this time. Then post having, you get a lot of interest in the asset, a lot of people FOMO in. And we normally go to about two times fair value in the cycle. So in the last cycle, fair value was 30. We got as high as 68, 69. This time, I think probably two times because there's less leverage. So that gives us the 150. So what's that? Bitcoin at 9,000, and I thought I was being fleeced. But the reason I bought it at nine was because uh, COVID shut down the world economy. So I thought it was pretty, when they started printing, so I bought Bitcoin at nine. I wish I'd bought it at 10 cents, like a lot of people did. 
But now I look like a genius because today it's around 55,000. This is uh, what, April 2021. And I think it's going to go to 1.2 million in five more years. Like I bought Bitcoin at 9,000 and I thought I was being fleeced.